We begin tonight with breaking news out of Fort Worth. Good evening, I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. A teenager was taken to the hospital after he was shot at Eastern Hills High School. Fort Worth police have not released a lot of details about this shooting. We know it happened on campus, involved some sort of fight, and the victim was shot in the neck. What we don't know is whether the victim was a student or if any of the other people involved were students. Fox News' Peyton Yeager live at the school tonight with the latest that she's found out. Peyton. Steve, again, little details from police, but we know this shooting took place around 5.20 p.m. this evening in the parking lot behind me. A male teenager shot in the neck and rushed to the hospital with what police are calling critical injuries. However, the last update we got from police was around 7 p.m., but when we arrived on scene, we saw a gun on the ground surrounded by cones, and it was taken into evidence. We don't know if that's the weapon used to shoot the victim. We also saw bloody clothes next to a curb. Several cars also were parked in the parking lot, but it's unclear if any of them belonged to the people involved in the shooting. Police believe this all started from some sort of fight in the parking lot here at Eastern Hills High. Police say the other people involved remain at large. It's unclear if police know who they're looking for. They'll only tell us no one is in custody at this hour. We also don't know the official age of the victim or his current condition. Police also haven't said whether the victim was a student here at Eastern Hills High, attended school somewhere else, or doesn't attend school at all. It's also unclear if the other person or people involved in the shooting are students. We spoke to one mother whose daughter was set to go to this school here at Eastern Highs Hill in the fall, but after seeing this, she says she's terrified to send her child here, and she's reconsidering. Oh uh, yeah, we're not. We're, we're probably not going to go over here. We're going to think of some alternatives because at this point, school is not even safe for your kids. It's it's not. It's inevitable. Whatever school, if these kids don't get it together, that's. I I don't know what to say. There's somebody baby. Somebody's child. There's no words. I couldn't imagine how any parent would feel if they get a phone call that something's done happen to their kid. We do know Fort Worth ISD is still in their school year and they are going to be in the school year until next week. Parents walking by us did tell us tonight they do believe there was some sporting event here tonight. Again, still waiting on a recent update on the victim. Again, no one in custody. We also reached out to Fort Worth ISD. They say they are cooperating with the investigation. But again, Stephen Heather, they cannot confirm if the victim or the wanted suspect went to school here. Back to you.